Right now, that is my least favorite number. <laughs> well, the reason it's my least favorite number right at this moment in time is because I've got to go run a new thermostat wire or control wire from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. In the beginning of summer, it was actually, it was still in the spring, it was April. Actually, it was April 1st. I replaced the unit, indoor and outdoor, because, uh, just because he wanted to replace. He was starting to have problems with it, and it's a rental house for him, so he decided, let's just get it replaced so I avoid all further issues. Well, when I ripped the air handler apart, every low voltage wire had a fuse adapter to it. I mean... Uh, red, green, yellow, orange, everything had a fuse adapter to it. And I was like, what the hell is all this? So I put the new system in. It ran fine up until uh, about two weeks ago. And I think today is October the 22nd or something like that. So it went all summer long, didn't blow one fuse. So he called me out last couple weeks ago and, and I came out and found the fuse blown. So I was like, well, it was just a fluke. Maybe we had a power surge or something. So I put a new fuse in it. And he called back two days later, said it wasn't working again. So I was like, oh, well, we got an issue then. So I came out and I checked, took all the wires off the thermostat, took all the wires off the uh, outdoor unit. And I started reattaching wires and with my amp meter, checking amperage on the uh, red wire. Tried oming everything out, I never did come up with anything. So I said, well, we got an issue here, but, but, so I started connecting all the wires one by one and found the red wire going out to the outdoor unit was shorted. So it was the only one. So I used the brown wire. Everything was fine for a couple of weeks. Then he called back not yesterday, the day before, and said that it blew the fuse again. He went and got a fuse, put it in. He said it blew instantly. So here I am today to run a new wire. It's gonna suck. But that's all right. It's gonna really suck. Let's go see what we got. All right, got the wire nuts off. Just kind of checking the wires, doing a visual inspection, just make sure I didn't miss anything when I was here before. And everything looks fine. There's no, uh, there's no uh, wires that are chafed or anything like that or you know sometimes you'll strip the wire strip the insulation you'll you'll cut into the insulation of the you know the smaller wires nothing like that so I'm gonna get all these taken apart and that way I can go upstairs and kind of try to ohm them out I was gonna use my mega ohm meter but no point I already did find uh, the red wire there short it in something and the basement is finished and of course I can't get to nothing in the walls so we're just going to uh, run a new wire be done with it be the easiest thing to do and I'm just out here kind of evaluating how I might get the new wire up there um, I don't really want to drag my 32 foot extension ladder around here because you know it's pretty heavy so I'm looking around and I see the satellite guys or the phone guys have their wire stuck up in a corner up there they drill the hole so I'm gonna use that same hole use my 8 foot ladder on the deck lean it against the wall there and uh, run my wire down bring it over to the outdoor unit and that will take care of our problem got all my wires disconnected I did do a ohm test on them and it did not show up anything and these are the wires going outside you see there's a brown wire right there and a the red is cut alright so I've got my meter hooked up uh, you see I got my jumper wire hooked up to the yellow wire so what I'm gonna do is, is do a ohm test on everything ohm all the wires out nothing I don't get anything on that one so I'm gonna move wires go over to what would be red 
my jumper wire on it. Nothing. 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 But watch this. So. So the red wire is uh, grounded to the. Well, it's now the brown wire. So let's go up to put the yellow one on. Put the jumper wire on the yellow one. I don't get anything. So the yellow's okay. Let's put it on orange. I just for giggles, I just uh, put my lead on my jumper wire there and hooked it up up there. So let's do the red. I stripped it back just to see. So there you go. So the brown and the red are shorted. I'm going to go ahead and strip the green and the black just to see if they're shorted. I mean, I'm going to run a new wire anyway. I'm just uh, kind of playing around at this point. My green and black stripped, testing it. No continuity, no continuity. So that just means my red and my brown are shorted. But I'm just going to run a new wire back over there. You see where the light is. Run a new wire all the way over there and then down the wall. Um, I would just go ahead and, you know, use either green or the black, but when I was here before and just use the brown, it wasn't showing up any continuity neither. So sometimes just umming the wires out doesn't mean anything. You would think since those two were touching. While we're up here, let's just go ahead and check uh, uh, the brown and the red and see what happens. Got my jumper attached to the brown. Turn the meter back on here. And they they short out together. So, But they weren't when I was here before or I wouldn't have connected those two. I wouldn't have connected the brown. So something's happened. I don't know if we got a rodent or something, but he can chew on this wire all he wants to from here on out because it'll be dead. With my fish rod attached to my thermostat wire, I'm getting ready to put that end into that hole up there and push it through. One reason I'm doing it like this is because as the roof line comes down, it gets too tight where that hole is right there. It's just an easier way to do it. There's times like this, I wish I had help, a second hand, somebody be up in the attic and pulling, but you know. A trip to the attic and pulling and a trip back down here, no big deal. It'd save me a little time, but it's no big deal. Well, there she is in between the two two by fours there. And I'm stuck back here trying to hold my weight up so I don't fall because we're on quite a bit of a slope. So I'm going to reach over there and grab that thing and pull it up here. Well, with one good swift yank of the fish rod, I was able to pull it through, get it up here. Now I'm going to take the second extension piece off of there, holding it while I do. So I ran it all the way back there, and now I've got it here at the air handler. Pull it a little more. All right, so that should be plenty to get me in the air handler, and I'm happy. Let me give it a little more. You can never have too much. It sucks to have not enough, but you can never have too much. I wrapped the thermostat wire around the 2x4 there to keep it from pulling when I'm outside messing around. So that'll keep my slack up here, and I can... uh what I need to outside and I can pull and I can pull what I need to outside without fear of losing my length in here bombs away cool thermostat wires down on the ground now now I'm gonna get it all tucked in 
Thank you, telephone man. Thermostat wire? What thermostat wire? Who said there was a thermostat wire out here? All right, so I got the thermostat wire tucked in behind the corner piece there. And to ensure that the thermostat wire stays up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in the side in there and then uh, take my tie strap, run it through the hole, and then tighten it up. And uh, do that in four, five, six places along the wall. That thermostat wire will be behind the side and I'll wire it up. When you get done with your hole, that's what it should look like. The side's got a little lip on it that the thermostat wire will set on. You drill your hole about a quarter of an inch above that lip. That way your thermostat wire sets on the lip. Put your strap in there, tighten it up, it'll hold it up. With the outdoor unit wired up, thermostat wire all tucked in behind the siding. Load the truck up, go wire the inside up. And start it up and go to the next one. With my unit wired up, go down here to my old Vito. Get my fuse out. Got my little popper. Put a new fuse in. Start it up. I'm going to go ahead and check. We should be good, but see I've got my amp probe around my red wire there. And uh, when I put my plug in the disconnect here, let's see what the amp rating is. So, looks like everything is good. Fans running. They had the emergency heat on, so I had to go downstairs and turn the thermostat over to heat pump. I can feel the line vibrating, feel the line getting hot. So I think we got it whooped. That's good. We got it whooped. There you have it. Won't learn that on any PDF. Look, I told him there was an eye manifold over there. Look what he's doing. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you don't like that eye manifold, do you? <laughs>